My question was to Jerry, um, when you first entered into this show, there was such a dynamic chemistry between you and Kate Mulgrew and your characters themselves. And, and you know, did that play out a lot in you know you as actresses as well? You know, uh, was she very mentorly to you, and you know, did that chemistry bleed over into you, you know actual life as well? Which in sorry, in which aspect of it specifically? Sorry, um, just like you know how uh, Captain Jamie was mentoring Seven, mm -hmm. and, you know, trying to oh the mentoring mentor? yes. Um, no. <laughs> um, no, Kate is an amazing actress. She is an amazingly talented woman, and the scenes between Seven and Janeway were some of the best scenes that I had to play, some of those. Um, um, but no, I mean, it wasn't, it was, it was a, <laughs> it wasn't easy, it wasn't an easy, Working relationship between the two of us—it was—it was awkward. So some of the scenes um, that could play into, and some of the scenes made it more difficult. Um. Okay. Cool. I, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, the best way to put it is, um, I think the hook when you talk about PR, press, publicity, PR. The hook in the beginning was. Um, First female captain. Okay, so all the press went to Kate, right? So and traditionally, in every Star Trek show, yes, the press goes, the press to, goes to the captain, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I was the only other actor who actually paid for a publicist. Nobody else did first three seasons, and all I could get literally, the publicist would call me up. Oh, Garrett, I've got you uh, WKNBB in Nebraska. They'd like to do a morning <laughs> interview with you, which means you can you need to be up by 3:30 a.m. your time to do this interview. So I got nothing. Literally, even on the, the press that you think would go to us, John Stewart had a talk show on MTV to begin with, right? And you would think MTV's audience would be Jennifer Lean and myself, but instead they had Kate and Bob Picardo on there. And I'm, honestly, well, those teenagers aren't looking to watch their uncle and aunt, you know, come on to I mean, so a lot of the press was kind of like skewed towards that. And the bottom line is, when I think when your character came in, you were the new hook, you were the, the Borg character. So there was a little bit of, you know, maybe some professional jealousy or whatever it was, but all the, there was a vacuum that was created in terms of press. You know, you got everything well, I, I, And, right. It was, this kind of feeds back into the question that somebody had asked earlier about if it was difficult coming in as the new cast member. Mm -hmm. And yes, and the other reason, not just because one cast member is being written out, but because when they added this character, Paramount, all of Paramount, um, and their publicity machine was very, very straightforward, and they verbatim said, this is our chance to break Voyager, to break Star Trek into the mainstream media. And so the Paramount publicity machine went into overdrive. Before the character had even debuted, before no, anybody had seen it yet, we had, the publicity meetings were, I, I've never in my career since seen anything like that. I mean, or I, for me, for my characters. Um, and they were very, very straightforward about that. They made no bones about it. This was their chance to break Star Trek into the mainstream media. And they were wildly successful in that regard. Um, but that just added to the tensions. You've got, I mean, it was, a, it was a, it was sort of the perfect storm because you've got a new character being added and somebody leaving. You have all of the attention now shifts to this new character with the press and the media and all of that. Then you've got writers who have been writing for the same, what is it, seven characters, eight characters, nine characters, however many there were of us, um, for three years at that point. And now there's a new character. And not only is it just a new character, but it's a really rich character to write for. So they're salivating to write for anybody new, but it's just so that it's something different to write into relationships with other characters. But so then Seven became, if not the A storyline, then a really big B storyline in almost every episode for the first at least two seasons I was on it. And so that's hard. That's not easy for anybody. Understandably. I mean, of course that's going to make, um, that's going to ruffle feathers and it's going to make other actors uncomfortable. And um, so I, I totally get it. But it was handled differently by different actors. But for me, it was it was very difficult for me, and I, I don't really talk about this that much, but I was, uh, for me, it was honestly like watching my, my mom or my aunt and my sister having ten issues or tension there, and it, it, 
it, it just it hurt. It was it was tough. And I remember I was I was telling somebody about this in Germany um, like a couple of years ago, and I started talking about this, and I for some reason I just started bawling. I started I started I started, I started crying. I was just crying and crying about this, and uh, it just it hurt a lot you know, to see that. So just you know, I, it was a uh, rough. Sorry. So. Uh, and, and, you know, and I kind of, my whole thing was I really wanted to be able to have, um, I really wanted to, like, years ago when Kate was here, I was trying to get you to come also because I wanted to, to broker the piece in a way. You know, I wanted to, to just have people know that, everyone know that it was tough, you know, to, to see that happening. And um, the manager kiboshed the whole thing. He was like, ah, that's the worst idea in the planet. I go, what? No, I, I want to bring people together. I want people to, 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 um, I want people to... Oh, my God! <laughs> Sorry. Um, so... Very tough, and I, my whole goal was to, to really just broker the peace. And to be honest, I saw her years later, and she did say at one point, she said, uh, she said <coughs> all these things that happened with, with Jerry, I, 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 I feel bad, and I, I, I know that I, I, did, I wasn't right in some of the things that I did and some of the actions and words that I said. So she did say that, just so you know. She said that to me. And so that made me feel like there was some growth there, you know? Um, and. Uh, uh, you know, it's just my goal for everyone to be friends and everyone to be, you know, to put aside all the bull crap, you know, from before. Because we're all there to do one thing, which is to make an amazing television show, to make amazing Star Trek. Cause, let's face it, Star Trek is the only show on TV that has a message. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if there's anything that should be always on TV, it's Star Trek.